So this is something in Azure Sentinel called workbook. And as you can see, uh, these are the defined template and these are my workbook, uh, which has already been set up. So 110 templates available. Uh, there are 30 um, workbooks saved. And basically, um, you don't have to reinvent the wheel because you just use this workbook um, and leverage those workbook and it will do all the backend stuff for you. However, you can also add the workbook. But uh, if there is something available and this is how you can uh, develop on top of that. So what I'm going to do now, um, since um, I have these some updates available, for example, um, let's take a look here. I wanted to see this one, for example. So it will give you more details what has been added in this workbook, for example. And what is the required data types? Let's say even if you install or set up this workbook and save this book, basically. Um, but if you do not have this data collection from these sources, it won't work. So uh, you can go back and check uh, my previous video, how do you connect the data sources? This is where these workbooks are there. So let's say here's one more of my interest about cybersecurity maturity model certification. Uh, there's a whole uh, information security related topic just for CMMC, uh, mostly used in uh, governance, risk, and compliance. So once you have that and you have the data available from these resources, so you run this template, it can tell you if your environment is compliant or not based on the configuration and setup available. So without going more into the details of each and every workbook, which I will probably going to set up a separate um, videos for each of them if need be. But here, if you can read that, Azure Sentinel's workbook provides the mechanism for, for viewing log queries, which are aligned with CMMC control access, right? So basically, this is coming from industry industry best practices and um, mostly required by governance risk and compliance and uh, portfolio including service offering 365 team. So basically your data ingestion has to be set up for these, uh, your virtual desktops, logging, all that stuff, right? And it enables your security architects, SACOS means security operations and analysts, you know, all of these people. So it does the multi-purpose. So for the sake of this video, what I'm gonna do now is update it and then maybe over 10, whatever. So I do not have any customized or something, so I'll just go ahead and do it. And this is the beauty of doing it in the cloud. And I should be able to do it. So I have to, it's a service as available and that's it says updated successfully. So what we can do is Azure activity. Um, there are some modification or maybe something new. So you can always go to the template, look what's new there. You can go to Microsoft website. But for me, I will just go ahead and update all of them, basically. But just so wanted to give you um, uh, some, uh, you know, get an idea what it looks like if you do not have a setup your tenant like this. This is Azure Sentinel community. So usually it's like any software you have Azure AD, a sign in. And here uh, they again, uh, email addresses, you know, these, so they keep adding. So that's why it is very important uh, because you need to gain more insight about your organization depending on logging and monitoring. So that's why uh, this is very important to keep updating. So let's Office 365 one. So Office 365 has a lot of sources, data sources where it says Office 365 tracing and analyzing law operations, activities, into SharePoint, OneDrive, exchange uh, and help you find uses so if there are any improvements definitely it's a must have to update it and already i have set up uh, 365 and already put a 365 log ingestion video on my sentinel playlist if you go and take a look in azure playlist you'll find the sentinel videos and this is where um, you can find uh, 
that uh so my workbook um i'm still gonna go and you can if you want you can uh, uh, skip this video but i'm gonna go and apply and make update all of them because uh, that's my production tenant and i must have because it's been a while as i said and then i want to make sure i have the latest and greatest available so i can have more visibility in my environment and this will help me uh, dig deeper into my tenant when it comes to pull reports incident management and overview for example the one we are talking about so general information entity data customization with saves and editing so you can do play a lot go to microsoft website or github uh, you can even learn a lot from there um, so what i have done so far pretty much uh, completed the one i have already set up in my environment now if you go with this templates available there are 80 of them right so uh, you can always view them and save it so again you can view it without saving it but if you want to use it for a later purpose you can save it so the one with the green is already been set up uh, and the one without this bar are not set up or it's not saved basically so uh, microsoft keep adding uh, these thing and this is something I have not seen before so it's a new addition which is a good sign um, and you can find from other vendors uh, like Citrix, Cisco you can bring the data you can have visibility so basically what it means if you're ingesting the data from Cisco and if you use this template from Cisco basically then it will from the vendor they publish their template here and will give you the access uh, and reporting uh, to the Cisco, you know. So instead of building something on your own, you have to do it. So this is about um, now Maxwell Exchange compromise hunting. Let's say if you're exchange online, if you see there is something compromise have happened uh, back in 2021, we all know that solar wind hack and all these. So this will uh, uh, will do the job. So I'm gonna save it and definitely in my next video. What I'm gonna do is that I'll uh, set it up and run it and see if there is uh, something suspicious. So based on uh, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to achieve, um, this is very helpful and you should only uh, set up and save the workbooks what you need. Again, I'm not doing any IoT here or no Linux machine, but I wanna look at my Microsoft 365 security push or so I'm gonna save this as well you see my region is there everything so I'll just keep it um, as a default uh, there are mitre attack workbook I have set up before so that's those who are in cyber security they must be aware of this if I am running any VAF in my environment then I need that workbook so I hope you're getting the idea where which workbook make the most sense so you're collecting the logs and for the logs you need to have a dashboard and this is where these uh, workbook make sense or make applicable so if you have any microsoft security alerts configured you want to save it and that's how you do it sentinel community i want to save this one as well uh what else do i got so list is pretty long and it's microsoft keep adding I believe they have added another, in my opinion, 20 or 30 in the last three, four months. So that's in a nutshell. If you have a tenant, go check it out, try it yourself, and you're gonna learn a lot of stuff, uh, and you're gonna gain a lot of visibility, and share your experience, and do uh, subscribe my channel, and uh, let me know. Stay tuned for the more videos.